Meet George Serra, a good-natured guy whose job is to rid the town of Boca Grande, Florida of invasive iguanas. Unlike their native Mexico, the aggressive reptiles on this seven-mile-long Gasparilla Island have no natural predators. Prior to George's aggressive eradication campaign, iguanas had overrun the island, about 10 of the horny reptiles per human resident. They carry salmonella bacteria, typhoid fever, and they eat sea turtle eggs like popcorn. The one that's to the right? Okay, okay. no, he's good. Let's and try taking him. That's a joint, just like a chicken. Exactly like a chicken. George takes the legs and tails. The rest goes to local crab fishermen for crab bait. The meaty pieces are rinsed and dropped into boiling water. In addition to looking like a horror movie prop, the boiling iguana gives off an odor that can only be described as, well, the aroma you get when you take your wet, sweaty socks off after a summer hike in the woods. With the legs and tails thoroughly blanched, it's time to peel the skin and collect the meat. I'm telling you, this is very reminiscent of a frog leg. This leg is. Except for the fact that most people eat frog legs. We're gonna go south of the border with our iguana. George is gonna wrap up a burrito and I've got plans for an iguana tostada. Shredded cheese. I've got some just shredded cabbage instead of lettuce. I'll take a little bit here. Here, I can just grab it up. Some chef hands. Got chef hands. There you go. So you, you do your thing here. I'm going to put some of this mango salsa. You want more? On top of mine. A little cheese on mine. I'm going to put a little hot sauce on mine. A lot of hot sauce. Let's see. I got that. I got that. I need a little... Cilantro on top of mine. There's my tostada. And this you would wrap up? That I would wrap up. Alright, so there you go. if you're wondering what to do with your iguana, this is what George does. George does the iguana wrap, iguana, iguana burrito. You can put anything in a flour tortilla, wrap it up, and it's gonna taste good. You got the mango. Over here, I have the uh, iguana tostada, a little garnish. So, just so people won't get any ideas that he didn't eat the iguana, this is obviously a good sized fork full of iguana. <laughs> You're gonna think that I'm just making this up. But when something doesn't taste good, I'm, I'm going to tell you it doesn't taste good. The flavor is actually really neutral. The flavor tastes like... It tastes like frog legs to me. It's good. Iguana. It's what's for dinner.